What it do, homies? It's your boy Dave, and I'm back today. We out here with another Tim Faust reaction. It's time we checking out Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow slash Stay from his doo wop album, okay? Now, I am super excited for this, okay? There is a, in my first time hearing this song was on that uh, mini series that documented, what was it, in the mid 90s, early 90s, I think, uh, late 90s, uh, The Temptations, right? And they had, um, the, the actors up there singing this song now stay is by what was this uh zodiacs maurice williams and then will you still love me by this shirelles i never had how you pronounce the name shirelles anyways um it's a nice mix up right and one of my favorite parts on there was of course when maurice williams was kind of like oh just a little bit longer i mean Boy, I'll tell you when I heard that for the first time I, I couldn't have been I see 90s I was I think I was about maybe like 10 maybe no I saw it a little bit afterwards I was so excited about that and now Tim Fowles is about to care he's about to cover it bro we are in for a treat right here I'm telling you I can't wait until he just starts Ooh, I just know he's about to do it anyways let's stop talking about it and shut up and turn it up tonight you're mine complete I'm not ready. I'm not ready. No way. No way, man. God, Tim Fowles just got that voice, man. I'm not ready for the beat to pick up. I, yo, you know, I low key kind of want to see Tim Fowles just. <laughs> I know he's going to kind of do it in his own style, bro. I, I low key want to see him just kind of hit the moves because, you know, back then in the Motown days, they put a lot of effort into like their movements and everything, you know, that you couldn't just go up there on there and, and kind of do this and everything, man. You had to, you had to, you had to get your groove on. Yeah. They would have musical breaks in there specifically for the, for the, for the, uh, you know, for the dance moves, I mean, it was doo wop, right? You can't just sit still during doo wop. You gotta, you gotta doo wop. <laughs> I look, you kind of want to see Tim Fowles just kind of bust us, get us with the moves. Excellent start to this, man. The the chords right there, that was very interesting. It's almost like it was a, I don't know what key this is sung in, but it definitely sounded a bit minor. What is that range? What is that range? I'm coming here. <clears throat> I want to stay just a little bit longer. <laughs> please, please, please. Say that you will. Say you will. I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. I can't believe he just hit that range. Like it was nothing. Like it was nothing. Oh, I was waiting for this to come in, guys. I'm so excited for this. Okay, kill it, kill it, Tim Fowles. To my eye, won't you say you love me all of the time? Daddy don't mind. And your mama don't mind. Your mama don't mind. If we have another dance, just one day. more. One more time. I want to stay. Just a little bit longer. Please let me stay. You say you'll stay. Come on. 
I'm sorry, y'all. I don't, I don't mean to ruin this with my singing, but I, I'm just that excited, right? Like, I am. I'm, I mean, I don't, I don't play my sax as much as I would like to, only because you, you can't play the saxophone like, uh, <clears throat> you can't play it quietly. I've tried it here in my apartment. I, I, I have a sax and everything. Um, tried it in my apartment. I got noise complaints, and this was in a closet, com uh, surrounded by a bunch of clothes to muffle the sound. But I still got a noise complaint because you know get on that sax man it's time to jam and i would love to play this song but the thing about it is that you know i do consider myself a musician right and um and you don't necessarily have to be a musician but when somebody's putting on a performance like this man you you know and you hear this incredible range right we didn't heard bass we heard kind of the middle and then the dude i mean you you put him in any type of arrangement right acapella arrangement like he's in right now any you can just throw him in a random group and they ask you you know what's your range <laughs> He says yes. <laughs> so what are you like a like a high range, like like a baritone, you like a soprano, or you like a tenor? He just says yes. Because <laughs> he can do it all. This is crazy. But y'all see him. Y'all see him feeling it. You gotta be feeling it when you're doing this, man. You you see the movements, man. You, you gotta you gotta groove with it. Harmonies. This is amazing. I knew it was going to be. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for watching my rendition of a couple of songs that I always love sung by Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons, as well as many others. Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. Oh, that's who sung it. I thought this was a mashup between the Shrills and, and Zodiacs, but hmm, I need to do some more some more research. Of songs that I always love sung by Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons, as well as many others. Oh, uh, this many others. Okay, okay. Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons are they the ones who originally sung this? Because it was to my knowledge that both of these were separate songs and they combined them. This song is available on an album called <coughs> Pieces of Me, Volume One, and you can find that at timfaustmusic.com. Uh, if you're interested in helping me make more of the music you love and getting some really cool exclusive perks in the process, please check out my Patreon campaign. I, I love how people be like, oh, okay, that's how his voice is low because, you know, not his natural talking voice is low. Hold on, I need to check this out. Frankie Valley. Whoops. Whoops. Four Seasons. Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. Uh, no, I've never heard them sing this song. What's their biggest hit? It's Sherry. Sherry? Walk. Oh, it doesn't look like it's one of their biggest hits. Okay. I don't know if they're the ones who originally made this, uh, but when I typed in um, this title, it, did, it didn't bring them up. So I, I am interested in knowing who was the original singers. It says here, Shrills, but it doesn't say stay with it, right? You know what I mean? Because this is, this is what I was looking up the uh, earlier. Um, see, who wrote? Uh, yeah, so it might be the Shrills and then the Zodiacs with, with, the, with the song Stay. Whoops. Let me see. Thank you guys for who wrote stay. <clears throat> yeah. Maurice Williams, the Zodiacs, right? Yeah. Stay. Okay. So I think it's originally wrote by them. And then of course he was covered. It was covered by a lot of people, but anyways, man, I absolutely, absolutely love the song. Those are the two people that I knew it from. I didn't know who uh, the Valleys, I'd never heard of them before, but I learned them today. Might need to go check them out. Uh, I, I love what Tim Fowles here is doing, right? Bringing doo-wop kind of back, right? Because it's definitely groovy. It's something to put you in such a good mood. And, and when you got Tim Fowles, the guy with the invincible range, it's only going to get any better, right? <laughs> All right, y'all. That's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.